I'm glad that you guys are here because this means that we're finally getting details about this highly anticipated show. I don't think there's been a show so shrouded in secrecy in such a long time. Let's start off with what can you tell us about Servant? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can tell the fans that, of course, it's executive produced by the amazing M. Night Shyamalan. Are you guys fans? What was it like meeting him for the first time? Like, take me back to that moment. He's a, he's a veritable master of the genre, and I think we're all pretty excited to be yeah. in his mm -hmm. very capable hands. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a real comfort in that. And, um, you know, the genre, this this emotional family thriller really is the star of the piece and yeah yeah, yeah it's beautifully put yeah exactly uh, I was very excited to work with him I had auditioned four times <laughs> and my last audition was for night and it's some but he brings a great deal of peace to it I was very anxious very nervous and then as soon as I met him I was like oh this is gonna be incredible it's gonna be something great and I was very excited for the cast mm -hmm. truly so it's it's exciting all the way around. I think that night just really put puts you at ease. When I first met him, I was really nervous. It was like my final audition um, when I met him, and I, I was really really nervous walking into the room. And then immediately he just brings such a calming vibe to everything he does. So he just put me at ease massively. It's really exciting to meet him. So. Rupert, how was your first meeting? Did you fanboy at all? I did. Yeah, no, I was a huge fan. Actually, I learned. Quite recently, he nearly directed one of the Harry Potter films. Really? Yeah. Um, Which one? Ago. I'm not sure. I okay. think it was. He said it was the second one. The second, the second one. one. Possibly something like that. Yeah. That but no, I've always been a huge fan. I've always been a huge fan. Mm -hmm. I think he is just an absolute master in this genre, and he's just such a nice, sweet guy. You know, everyone's name, and just, just yeah, really sweet and humble. And really, it was yeah, it was kind of one of the main attractions. He's very attractive, <laughs> physically. <laughs> <laughs> and, and artistically, um, so that was kind of a big, a big uh, pull for me. You really yeah. did have that fanboy crush. Really, really, yeah. 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 Apparently, we're all just learning this right now. I, I like <laughs> this. Yeah. Discovering things about your exactly. co-stars now. Yeah. Um, yeah. You guys joked that you can't reveal anything, but it, you can at least tell the fans out there the premise of Servant. So, who wants to give us the elevator pitch, Lauren? <laughs> okay, it's a. This is a show. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. I'm doing really well. Me, me and I read you our spoilers. We handle it. I know. I have a hard it's, time actually. It's very tricky. It's worth it saying on the I mean, look, it, 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 it's a, it's it's a couple it's a in couple crisis. In crisis. They, they, dealing with a tragedy. They yeah. have a trauma mm -hmm. that yeah. happens, and it's exploring how they deal with this, with grief. Um, it all takes place in one location. It's all in this one brownstone in Philadelphia. Knight, of course, shoots everything in Philadelphia because he's from there. Um, that, that lends it this um, intensity because we're all trapped inside this house. Oh, and then, of course, so it's this couple in tragedy, and then we have this, <laughs> this visitor comes, this new energy, this new presence comes and really changes their up. life and yeah. shifts and shifts. So it's the, the family, it's the brother-in-law, it's the brother, yeah. the I was going to say, let's dig a little husband. deeper. Can you give us a character-by-character -character breakdown of who you all are playing? Yes. Yeah, Rupert, I start play, us off. I'm Julian. Okay. Um, I am Dorothy's younger brother. And, uh, yeah, Julian's this kind of quite brash. Uh, he you really hit younger. You really hit that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. About, much, much uh, younger. Ten, so ten much years younger. younger. <laughs> no, um... Yeah, and he works in the financial district. He's very brash. He's quite kind of bullyish, and um, yeah, just a very different energy to a lot. Of, uh, to yeah, he's 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 he's, a, he's 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 so much fun to play. He's just this real kind of force, and it's but it's kind of a facade. He's he's actually a kind of quite vulnerable person. That only really when he comes face to face with Gan that she can kind of penetrate that, and nothing usually works with him. So it's yeah, he's interesting. Lauren. So I play Dorothy Turner. She's the mother in this story. It's a fascinating, strange character to play. She's ambitious and a local news reporter and, um, and is dealing with this trauma in the most bizarre way um, by basically not dealing with it at all. So uh, it's, uh, it's 
very challenging. Yeah. Really interesting character. Now, I understand you're playing a character who has an amazing name. I have Leanne, yes. which is your name as yes. well. <laughs> yeah, so I'm playing Leanne. Um, she, the Turners hire her, she comes into the house. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, she's a very mysterious kind of energy. You can't really work her out. And she's kind of brings the conflict or the resolution you know, in, in, in the house. Mm -hmm. um, and you sort of toy with the whole question about the, the whole show, is she good or is she evil? And um, I think that's something that none of us really know. And I mean, I think I know, but, and I think that's kind of the question we're posing to the audience as well, is what do you, who do you think she is? What do you think she is? Why is she here? Mm -hmm. It's kind of what. Uh, I play Sean Turner, husband of Dorothy, and uh, I'm a chef who has opened successful businesses and sold them to start a family and then a tragedy strikes us both. And he's really locked into a world of <clears throat> not wanting to lose everything. So Dorothy's his world and he's made this decision, which is a huge decision for all of us when you find a partner and you want to start a family and you want to do that whole thing. And then things crumble and fall apart and they can be very bleak and very dark, but he he knows who Dorothy is at her essence and who she's always been, and so he's struggling, I think, with that. And he has actually an incredible, no matter how he is in his business, an incredible brother-in-law who's really his confidant. And then this entity, this person comes into our home against all my better judgments and all of my urges. Leanne's there and... and I kind of have to put up with her to begin with, mm -hmm. and then we find, uh, you know, mutual bond through the the situation we're in. So yeah, I mean, Knight said last night it was a situation, situational thriller. Thriller, yeah, yeah like a sitcom, sitcom. sit thriller. Oh, I like that because they're because they're thirty hour. minutes. Yeah, yeah, 30 yeah they're thirty minutes. minutes. Yeah, and it is literally is we're unusual. in this one yeah. place. Yeah, yeah. So, there's never been. A half so. Hour. When you all first got your roles and you got to sat down with Knight and your creator, Tony, did they tell you the entire arc of the first season or were you guys finding out the pieces script by script? Well, we all got sent everything. Oh, yeah. amazing. Everything, time. Yeah, everything, last everything for the last episode. Yeah. Everything yeah. for the last episode, the last which they kept two, right until yeah, the end. Yeah. Well, that, even the last episode they did keep right to the end. Right? Like right to the end. Yeah, right till we shot it. Well, Lauren, I'm curious to know, Six Feet Under, has one of the very best series finales of all time. When you read the final episode for Servant, what went through your mind? Well, it would, this wouldn't be uh, written as the final episode of Servant. Okay. This is definitely the writers and uh, Tony and really there's one writer, Tony. That's, that's something <laughs> unique about this yeah. show is yeah. that it's one person's voice. And, um, Are we leaving the door open a, for more seasons? Well, he has a he and Knight have a, a pretty long term view of the the arc of the long story. Mm -hmm. and so this is ten episodes, and I think he keeps talking that he he knows what the sixtieth episode will be. <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> um, what has it been like having Knight serve as a director on two of the episodes, and and being able to to witness the intensity that he brings to the set? Actually, isn't that intense? I mean, he's really? beautifully detail-oriented. The house that we were in, me and Lauren, when we first walked around it, we were both like, God, we should live here. Maybe we should, <laughs> we should be really method and move in. <laughs> it's so beautifully done. It's so detailed. And that's really the intensity of night is how detailed he is, how persistent he is to get exactly what he wants. We actually, during other episodes, Knight would have watched stuff and say, we should go back and try that, which was a excellent thing to really get to exercise yeah, that whole really thing. It's a really luxurious yeah. uh, way to shoot. It is like shooting a film in the sense of everything being so minutely managed in detail. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes quite play-like as well, because the yeah. takes were quite long. Just yeah. Long kind of takes. And though he's the, around. he directed two episodes, he's the godfather of the whole thing. So he's he's there and around. And mostly our location, like I said, was is just in one um, one location, one brownstone. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. So there's opportunity to to go back and fix things and make things right and, and just incredible space for all of the creative people to do their work. Yeah. Um, for us to do our work as actors to to play and find time. We do these long takes for the you know the the costume department, the art department. Everybody has their time. And Apple and Knight have 
both really created that and made space for that, which is truly unique that in my incredible. experience yeah. in, in working in television, unlike, I mean, really an unusual set. Yeah. Beautiful set. Well, and Rupert, you had mentioned that he almost had directed one of the Harry Potters. Do you know there is a Harry Potter connection here at New York Comic Con? Really? Cursed Child is here, and they're finally making their debut to New York right now. I'm curious yes. to know if you've seen the play. I have, yeah. Yeah? I saw it in London, yeah, a few years ago. It's, yeah, it's incredible, yeah, it's great. It's, uh, it's quite a strange out-of-body kind of experience <laughs> to see. <laughs> is that something where you would ever want to go on stage and maybe take that role back on for a small bit? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, never say never. Yeah. It's a great story. It's a kind of a genius kind of extension of those characters. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> um, before fans tune into Servant, what is the one thing that you think they need to know? That it's not scary. It's the number one question I keep being asked. Mm. People are like, oh, I don't want to watch it if it's scary. I'm like, it's not. It, it, it's a genuine thriller. It has, yeah, yeah. It's well, intense. Like gruesome, right? It's an intense story. And we're so proud that no one shied away from that. This is a difficult subject to speak about. And it's an entertaining story. So, yeah, if you're like, oh, I don't like horror movies, that's not what this is. This is a show that's about life. So less scary, more gripping. More it's like it'll more pull good. you in. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's also really funny at, at times. It can be incredibly funny. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We've got I mean, a nice Mike, blending of genres. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all so much for joining us. I really appreciate Thanks, it. Really.